today I'm here with my Cramathon TBR. If you guys don't know what Cramathon is, it is a readathon that is hosted by myself, Dylan the Reader 5, Julia Sapphire, and Allie from Hardback Hoarders. So I'll leave all of their links down below if you want to go check them out. I highly suggest it because they are all amazing. This year we chose to host the Cramathon from December 26th to January 2nd. I know it's a super weird week. But we figured that it's after Christmas time and all that family time, you know, that you go through during the holiday season. So we thought that a lot more people would be able to participate this way. There are seven challenges for everybody to try to complete. So I picked out a couple of books for those. So without further ado, let us get started. The first challenge is to read a book with under 200 pages. So I picked Disconnected by Lisa M. Cronkite. This book follows a girl named Millie who is bullied by a girl named Amelia, so she's trying to get this girl Amelia to stop. The only thing is, is that Amelia actually lives in Millie's body. So I'm thinking that it's like a split personality thing, but I honestly have no idea. The book is only 183 pages, so that is under 200, which is why I picked it. The next challenge is to pick a book with LGBTQIA+ representation. So I'm picking Echo After Echo by Amy Rose Capita and this follows a female-female relationship. So there you go. I'm very excited about this and also I'm like obsessed with the cover. I think it's so pretty. The next challenge is to read one of the host's favorite books. I'll leave the link to my announcement video for Cramathon so you guys can check that out. It has every host's favorite book. But I personally don't own any of those books and obviously I'm one of the hosts so I already read my book so I don't want to read it again. So the other part of the challenge is to read a short book that someone recommends to you if you don't want to read any of the host favorites. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to read Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. I know that so many people have loved this book so I want to get in on the hype and it's very short. It's only... 186 pages so I feel like it's a good one for Cramathon because the whole point of Cramathon is to read super super short books to get through yo TBR. Challenges to read the shortest book on your TBR. Honestly I'm way too lazy to go through my entire TBR and find the shortest book so I just found one that looked super short and we're going with that but it is Brother by David Chardonnay and I'm super excited about this because the author is from Toronto and your girl lives very close to Toronto so I'm saying that we're like basically neighbors. The back of the book says that it is a coming of age story that follows two brothers who are the sons of a Trinidad immigrant. One of the brothers follows his dreams of becoming a hip-hop artist and the other one is more focused on getting a girlfriend from his high school. Basically the story of the two brothers and then a tragic shooting occurs and the police are very suspicious of them and it's basically that story. I honestly haven't heard anything about this book from anybody so I'm intrigued going into it but it's only 177 pages so I feel like it's one of my shortest on my TBR. Again, I'm way too lazy to check but we're going with this one for that challenge. The next challenge is to read a book with your favorite color on the cover. My favorite color is purple so I chose Glass by Ellen Hopkins. This is the second book in the crank trilogy. I have the third book as well but obviously you know you have to read the second book before you can read the third book. I'm thinking about making the third book my read seven books challenge but we'll see where I am by the end of the readathon because I'm probably not going to read that much because I never actually do what I'm supposed to during readathons. But it is a hefty book but it is all written in verse so it goes by very quickly I love Ellen Hopkins books for readathons because I just fly through them so hopefully we get to this one by the end of the week. And then the next challenge is to read a book that was gifted to you. I'm kind of cheating for this one because it technically wasn't a gift, but like it was sent to me in the mail, so we going with it. It is Shadow Girl by Leanna Liu. I was sent this by HarperCollins so I could review it for them. So like, I mean, it's kind of a gift, right? No? Yes? We're going with it. But it follows a girl named Mai who is hired as a tutor on an island and she's not very superstitious, she doesn't believe in ghosts, but then she starts hearing these noises from the house that she is living in for the summer while she's tutoring a little girl and she starts to become a little bit suspicious about what's going on and the history behind the house. So far I'm only about 60 pages in right now and honestly 
I don't know how I feel about it. It's very slow right now. I'm hoping that it like picks up and it becomes more like thrilling. I will have a review of this up on my channel sometime when I'm finished it, so stay tuned for that. And then the final challenge is to read seven books. As I said, I'm thinking about making the third book in the Crank Trilogy my read seven books. It's Fallout if you're interested by Ellen Hopkins, but I'm keeping it very open because I don't know if I'm gonna want to read that or if I'm gonna want to read something else so I'm basically just giving myself a free book and we'll see how it goes. Alright guys so that was my quick Cramathon TBR. Let me know down below if you're participating. I would love it and I'm sure the other hosts would love it if you did participate. If you want to follow our Twitter it's at Cramathon. We're gonna be hosting sprints throughout the entire week all four of us so definitely Go check that out if you're interested, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!